but I'm just assuming and guessing as I make my way down towards the creek here. Um, the girls' bodies were found pretty close to the creek from what I, everything that I've been able to research. So. Oh, just like it says in the Counting Crows song. Round here. Indiana. I'm not sure what that trailer is, but it's been there a while. If that trailer could tell stories, I wish it could. I wish these trees could talk and let us know. Right here, there's another one. I guess this is called Maple Street. I don't know where that four-wheeler went. But I heard it start up and I heard some people talking so I know that there's more people. Now this is creepy right here. Check this out. Look at all these shoes in the tree. Bunch of shoes down here. This is really weird. I'm not sure why all these trees are in this tree. Why all these shoes are in the tree. Um, there's probably at least 50 to 75 pairs of shoes in this tree right here. This little gate right here has a shoe on it. A pair of shoes really weird All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm walking down this little this little trail right here. It looks like it's maybe an ATV trail or something that leads down to the creek. So right around in here somewhere is where they found Abby and Libby's bodies. I'm very, very close to that location. So and there's a lot of creepy, weird stuff out here. I'll tell you what. Okay, so now we're back over underneath the bridge, down by the creek. Here's the bridge. And I may just go through the creek on the way back over there, it's not very deep. Just take my shoes off and go through there instead of going all the way back. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty pretty creepy back in there right now it's very quiet very secluded and i just have an evil feeling out here i really do bridge so now we're getting really close to the creek so we're right here right here in this area is where they found those two bodies And this trail just keeps going. It's almost like somebody maintains it or mows it or something. And uh, like there's, it's kind of a high traffic 
lot here so anyway i'm gonna turn the camera around let you guys enjoy or not enjoy but see what we're doing here Okay, they actually somebody has put a rope here to help us across the creek so I will definitely utilize it oh never mind it broke so So I'm gonna take my shoes off and just brave it through the creek here instead of going all the way up back and around. And there's different theories about how the bridge guy got out of here. And uh, one of the theories is that he went through the creek, but I'm kind of having a hard time buying that theory just because it was February. It was pretty cold. Even though it was unseasonably warm that day, it was still pretty cold and uh, so I think he probably went back up and over the bridge, but that, who knows, man. We're, Dusty and I are just learning about this case, the de the finer details, so, and really that doesn't, it's not a big, big deal, but I'm definitely gonna go through the creek here, so taking off my shoes now. I'm gonna carry them with me. Hopefully I don't get, like, anything, step on anything or get bit by anything, but I doubt it. Here we go. There's a fish. Scared the little fishies. I do, that family actually made it. They're going to get ready to cross the bridge right there. So That's kind of good. It per perfect timing really, because it'll kind of give you a, a view of people walking across that bridge from down here ow there's some sharp rocks in here getting kind of deep here not really not like I have to swim or anything but it's getting about knee deep You can kind of see now how high it is. It seems like a, it's a lot higher when you're on top of the bridge from down here, but it's a good probably 65, 70 feet, maybe a little higher. It's no joke going across there, that's for sure. And uh, one of the things that we noticed and read in other places is that whoever this guy was, he pretty much had no fear going across there. He had his hands in his pockets, seemed pretty relaxed. But I'm going to start making my way back up to where Dusty's at on the bridge. And, um, or right by the bridge. So I'm going to cut this, cut the camera off. But that, this right down here, close to the creek, somewhere in here is where they found Abby and Libby's body. So what a tragedy. Justice for Abby and Libby. Stay with us, everyone. <laughs> 